Hi Mr. New Mobile here. This is Samsung One UE 3.0 Android 11. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra at a Galaxy Unpack 2020 event on August 5th. The event also welcomed the Galaxy H3 and Galaxy Buds Live, but one thing stood out for sure, at least for software update fans. At the event, Samsung revealed that the Galaxy Note 20 will receive three Android OS updates all through to Android 13. That's some feat coming from Samsung, which has been offering two OS updates to all Galaxy devices regardless of the price. This change is going forward. And even better is that the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra aren't alone. If you own any of the devices in the Galaxy S20, Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy S10 series, you are also guaranteed at least three Android OS updates. One UI 3.0 for the Galaxy S20 series is in a pre-beta phase right now, HT. XDA developers. It is currently only available to developers in the US and South Korea. Samsung says it wants developers to ensure that their apps are compatible with the latest beta software before opening it up to the public. This is why access to the beta program will require approval from Samsung right now, and regular Galaxy S20 users won't be able to install One UI 3.0 just yet. Both LTE and 5G variants of the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra are eligible for receiving the One UI 3.0 beta update in the US. Samsung has also included both unlocked as well as Sprint T-Mobile Galaxy S20 models in the trial. Samsung hasn't revealed any features of One UI 3.0 just yet, but you can expect to hear about them soon as developer previews go out. Interested devs can head here to register for One UI 3.0. We'll update this article when Samsung opens up public expected to release the final version of Android 11 sometime in September. Meanwhile, many smartphone makers are already offering public beta trials for the software. Here's a full list of all the Android 11 beta phones. Google is focusing on enabling users to better take advantage of the latest innovations with Android 11, while also emphasizing privacy and security. There will also be enhancements for 5G, support for new screen types that utilize pinhole and waterfall design elements, machine learning enhancements and more. New permission options are among the best Android 11 features. Users will be able to grant apps temporary access to sensitive data like microphone and camera with a one-time permission. The app will not be able to access that data once the user moves away from it. Android 11 is going to simplify conversations with a dedicated conversation section in the notification shade. Bubbles will be used to keep conversations in view while multitasking on the phone. If an app supports image copy-paste, it will also be possible to insert images directly into notification inline replies. A rather useful enhanced devices. It's not exactly easy to see previously dismissed notifications on an Android device. Google is set to change that with Android 11, which will have a notification Android 11 beta for Samsung. Samsung devices don't get developer preview builds of Google's mobile operating system. However, the company itself launches a beta program so that it can get the latest Android version and the One UI version that will accompany it out in the hands of testers. However, it will take some time before such a program is launched. For context, Samsung launched the Android 10 and One UI 2.0 beta in October last year, about a month after Google had released a stable Android 10 firmware for its Pixel smartphones. Which Samsung devices will get Android 11? Samsung releases dozens of smartphones every year for every price segment of the market. Providing software support for all of these phones is no simple task. The company does guarantee two major OS upgrades for all of its smartphones. This means that any Samsung phone that's shipped with Android 9.0 and Android 10 will be eligible for Android 11. Samsung's three-year security update guarantee remains. The company continues to release security updates for devices, even when they have received their two major OS updates early and monthly release schedules. Samsung also releases security updates for devices older than three years as and when required. It will continue to do so after Android 11 arrives as well. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece.